Hi Year 2, it's Aisha. I'm so excited. I just received an email with this letter and it's addressed to you guys. So I'm going to have a read of it. Dear Year 2, I am writing to you because Aisha and Claire told me that you enjoyed hearing my story. My name is Ruby. I think you know who I am. How are you? What have you been doing at home during the lockdown? I know things are a bit strange at the moment and some of you may have a worry, but I've got an idea about a way to help. In my story, I learned that talking about my worry made it go away. I know that it is sometimes hard to talk about your worry, so I thought you could share it with me by writing me a letter. Even if you don't have a worry, you can tell me about all the things you have been doing whilst you've been at home. I can't wait to hear from you all. From Ruby. Oh, wow. This is great. So what I thought you guys could do is you could all write Ruby a letter to reply to this one. Keep watching because I've written a letter back to her where I'm going to go through all of the things you must include. I've written a letter replying to Ruby's letter. So I thought what we could do is have a read through and look at the features that I would like you to include for a letter. Okay, so from the top. Dear Ruby, and a comma. That's how we start the letter. We say, dear, who it's to, and with a co and then add a comma. So that's why that's underlined in orange. There are things as we read through the letter that will be underlined in different colours, and I want you to think about why. Thank you so much for your letter. I'm not bad, thanks. How about you? So here we've got something in pink underlined and then this here in green. Why do you think I've got those things underlined? Well done if you said, I'm not bad, thanks. We're replying to Ruby's question she asked us in, our, in the letter she wrote us. And then how about you? We've asked her a question. So in a letter, that's what you would, we would want you to do is ask a question to the person you're writing to. Remember your question mark. Life has changed a lot, but I've been taking the time to do things I don't often have time for. I've been baking yummy treats and gardening, which has been lots of fun. Raki has loved having me at home as it's meant he's got lots of cuddles. So here we've got some words underlined in blue. We've got the word but and and as. I would like you to put your thinking caps on and have a think. Why have I underlined those words in blue? What are those words called? What type of words are they? Well done if you said they're conjunctions. Great, let's carry on. I really enjoyed your story because it helped me understand that talking about my worry is the best thing that you can do. My worry has grown over the past few weeks because I haven't spoken to anyone about it. I am now ready to share it with you. My worry is always thinking about when things will go back to normal. I really miss my class. I miss their little faces and learning lots of new things together. So again, I've got the word because underlined in blue because it is a conjunction. I really enjoyed your story because we're giving a reason why. We're extending our sentences. This part of our letter, we were saying thank you to Ruby for her letter, answering the question she asked us, asked her a question, and then we spoke here a little bit about what she asked us. She said, what have you been doing during lockdown? Now, this part of my letter, I've moved on to talk about what I want to speak about. So now this is about my worry. I'm using some conjunctions here. Let's carry on. My worry is also always thinking about all of the key workers and hoping that they are st staying safe and healthy. I can feel it already. My worry is starting to shrink. Thanks, Ruby. You were right. Talking about your worry does make it disappear. From Aisha. Okay, the first thing here is we have something here. A punctuation, it's underlined in green. What is the name of this? And there's one here as well. Well done if you said exclamation mark. I've used that in my letter because 
I can feel it already. I'm excited that my worry is starting to shrink. Talking about your worry does make it disappear. And then here from Aisha, it's underlined in orange because that's how we sign off from a letter. We say from and a comma and then our name. So this is the letter that I have written. What I would like you to do is write a letter to Ruby. You need to look at the letter she wrote us. Watch this video again if you need to. And I want you to think about the features of a letter that you need to include and the layout. So starting with dear and, your, and Ruby, all of our letters will start the same. And then your first part of your letter, you are going to be answering her questions and asking her a question. And in the second part of your letter, you are going to write about your worry. If you don't have a worry, you can just talk about things you've been doing and enjoying while you've been at home. And I would like you to use conjunctions in your writing. I would like you to use a range of punctuations. We've got a question mark here, an exclamation mark. I want you to always be thinking about your capital letters, full stops in all your writing and then ending from and your name. Some of you may have noticed when we were reading th this that we have some suffixes here. I want you to think about those in your writing as well. I would love it if you could send me a picture of your letter, so either to the, our email or to post it on Cecil would be fantastic, and then I can send them to Ruby. Um, I hope you are all well and safe. I hope you're having fun and doing your learning. I hope you're listening to your adults and enjoying the sunshine, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Miss you all. Bye.